Hello everyone. This video demonstrates how to fly the getting started first flight on the Pilot Edge network. This is a very short flight from Oceano County Airport, identifier Lima 52, to San Luis County Regional Airport, identifier Kilo Sierra Bravo Papa. San Luis Regional is only about 8 nautical miles straight line from Oceano County, but to comply with standard traffic pattern entry requirements, our flight will be just a little bit longer than that. Even so, the entire flight will only last about 10 minutes from takeoff to landing. We'll navigate by dead reckoning, and I'll point out a couple of landmarks you can use once we're in the air. Oceano County Airport is a non-towered airport, which means you don't have to ask for permission to take off. For safety reasons, though, we will listen to other air traffic on the published Common Traffic Advisory Frequency, usually just called the CTAF frequency. We'll also use this frequency to broadcast our own intentions, including ground movements for taxiing, and just before we depart, to let other run pilots know the runway we'll be using and our direction of flight immediately after departure. For Oceano County Airport, the CTAF frequency is 122.7. Before we taxi, we need to get the weather at San Luis Airport. The weather is continuously broadcast through an automatic terminal identification service, which is universally called ATIS. The ATIS frequency for San Luis County Airport is 120.6. The ATIS is updated at regular intervals or any time there is a meaningful change in the weather such as a change in the wind direction or wind speed. Each ATIS report is given a phonetic alphabet designator. When we listen to the ATIS we need to remember the designator for the current weather. It acts as a shortcut for us whenever we communicate with air traffic control letting them know we have the most current weather for the airport we're landing at. Or if we don't have the most current information because it changed very recently, it lets them know that too. Let's listen to the ATIS for San Luis County Airport and note the information designator. San Luis Airport Information Yankee 2056 Zulu, wind 296 at 8, visibility greater than 20 miles, sky condition, no clouds below 20,000, temperature 23, 2.14, altimeter. Information Yankee is current, so we'll write that down on a notepad for use when we call San Luis Tower. There are two frequencies we need to know for San Luis County Airport. The tower frequency, which is 124.0, and the ground frequency for use after we've landed, which is 121.6. It's a good idea to write these frequencies down on a notepad, even if you happen to have a chart at the cockpit. Fumbling with a chart during approach and landing is not a great idea. Our radio lets us put in both a primary and a backup frequency. So now that we're done with the ATIS, we'll go ahead and put the CTAF frequency of 122.7 in as our primary, and put San Luis Tower frequency of 124.0 in as our on our backup. When we're ready to talk to San Luis Tower, we'll just need to push up a single button. Anything you can do in advance to minimize your cockpit workload is a good idea. With our radios prepared and the ATIS noted, we're ready to taxi to runway 29er here at Oceano. Oceano traffic, Cessna 757 Victor Bravo, taxiing to runway 29er Oceano. Note that I said the name of the airport twice, once at the beginning of the transmission and again at the end. That's standard procedure for advisories at non-towered airports. Another pilot just tuning to the CTAF frequency may have missed the first few words of my transmission, and just hearing runway 29er without knowing the airport isn't very helpful. Because the taxiway crosses an active runway here at Oceano Airport, I'm going to pause here and take a look to the north and to the south uh, to make sure there are no airplanes uh, on approach to the runway. Runway is clear, continuing taxi.
Okay, I've double checked the radio frequencies in the altimeter setting and we're ready to go. After departure, we'll fly the runway heading for a couple of miles, then make a right turn to a heading of 360 degrees. Once we're clear of the traffic pattern in Oceano County, we'll switch frequencies and call San Luis Tower. Let's make our CTAF departure advisory, take one last look for traffic before we taxi onto the runway, and get going. Oceano traffic, Cessna 757 Victor Bravo, departing runway 29er, straight off departure, Oceano. Runway is clear. Unless otherwise published, standard procedure at a non-towered airport calls for us to fly the runway heading until we reach traffic pattern altitude, which at this airport is 1,000 feet. We'll fly a heading of 290 until we reach 1,000 feet. Go ahead and switch over to San Luis Tower Frequency now and monitor for a moment. It's always a good idea after you change frequencies to listen for a few moments to make sure no one else is transmitting before you do. It's time now to start our turn to the north. Now we'll go ahead and give San Luis Tower a call. San Luis Tower, Cessna 757 Victor Bravo, 6 miles southwest, inbound with Yankee, type is Cessna 172. Cessna 757 Victor Bravo, San Luis Tower, enter left uh, base to runway 29, report the uh, final. Enter left base, runway 29er, and report on final, 7 Victor Bravo. Under some circumstances, they might ask us to report when we're on left base. In this particular case, they don't want us to report till we've turned final. That sandy patch out there, just about off the nose right now, flying a heading of just basically due north is our visual landmark. Once we reach that sandy patch, we will uh, make our turn onto base. Runway heading at San Luis is 290, so our 90 degree left base uh, heading will be 020. Just a slight right turn once we cross our landmark there. Since we'll be shortly busy with our approach and landing, let's go ahead and dial in the ground frequency for San Luis, which is 121.6 on our backup frequency. 
That way we'll be ready after we've landed to switch over with just a button push. The tower may request us to stay on their frequency for taxiing instructions, but now we're ready either way. Pattern altitude for San Luis is about a thousand feet, which is where we are now. We're over our landmark, so let's commence our turn to zero two zero degrees to fly our base leg. San Luis Tower, Cessna 757 Victor Bravo, uh, roughly two mile final, runway 2 9 -er. Cessna 7 Victor Bravo, wind 3008, runway 2 9 -er, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 2 9 -er, 7 Victor Bravo, thanks. One thing to notice is that upon initial contact with air traffic control, I used my full call sign, Cessna 757 Victor Bravo. Subsequent parts of the conversation, both myself and air traffic control may use an abbreviated form of the call sign, just the last three letters of the tail number, 7 Victor Bravo. But on initial contact, you should always use your full call sign. Since we can make this first turn off, we'll go ahead and do that. Cessna 7 Victor Bravo, taxi to parking via Alpha, remain this frequency, we'll see. Taxi to parking via Alpha, stay on this frequency, 7 Victor Bravo, thank you. This is Taxiway Alpha, we're on here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Have fun on Pilot Edge.